pulling punt. Um, don't know where I ended up with this. I got kind of involved. I do that. I get kind of involved in a project and forget that I'm trying to video blog this. But at this point, um, inside, you remember this project was all about having stuff on hand. So this is all stuff on hand, built boat. I got three quarters of it done with glass, didn't have it. I used deck restore on the rest of it that had sand in it. and it, It's basically a bastard boat. But at this point, I don't know how it's going to perform. So we're going to figure that out here in about three days because I'm going to use it to hunt one of the marshes around here that I really like to hunt. And there's a short one week deer season and for archery and that's what we're gonna do. But run down on the boat, you can see we got the camo finish on it already. Um, I did have two little spots right there. I see my fiberglass tape ends like right in there. You can see and I didn't have enough tape to do that and across the front, screw it, don't care. So I just caulked this little gaps I had here. Um, I have some holes there that I just noticed because I put, I might just want to caulk them some. But um, I know you guys out there that do boats and finish them out just as perfect as can be. You're probably balking at this, but you know, this, this boat's going to work for what I want it to. I want to put it in the swamp, beat the crap out of it. Throw it in the back of that trailer right there to haul it and not really give a crap about it. See how it performs and if it's nice, does a good job. When it wears out, I might build another one or I might go with another design. Who knows? That's the glory of wood boat building. But you kind of get the idea of the lines. The inside I did with um, paint that I had around the shop that I, I think I bought it in 99. Um, it might not even make it oil based utility paint. Still have to paint the top caps or top rub rails. And I think I'm going to put some plywood on the ends on each end to stand on. And, um, and then I'll be, I'll be done. I got to do that today because, as I said, I'm going to use it. Today's Wednesday. I'm going to use it Saturday morning. I might even use it Friday to go scouting. You can see the PL Premium here. Why I like it so much because it's flexible. And tough so but that's sort of the update on it um, it's kind of cool I like it and I hope it uh, performs the task I want throw a tree stand in there pull along through the swamp and hopefully throw a deer in it and get it all bloody on the way back I hauled it in on my truck right there on my little homemade canoe hauler and there it is sitting there the maiden voyage i've already abused it drug it across the ground and here it is unfinished but i have it and we're getting ready to plash it in the water and go down the creek and go out in the bay paddle out not paddle hopefully pole to uh go hunting tonight so um we'll see how this goes um maiden voyage splashy splashy and um so I hope to get some video, but I'm in a rush because I'm late, like usual. All right, initial review, awesome. Look at that creek I came down. Well, I went that way. I went over that little wood thing, and then I went over a big log, stepped out. Sierra walked up, jumped out, stepped out. Fed it over, jumped back in. See all the mud in there. Freaking fabulous. Just everything I want out of it. Oh my God, there's the truck. I went that way and there's a big beaver dam with a five foot drop and a bunch of blowdowns. So it ain't working like I thought it was going to be today. So I came back. But my initial impression of it is this is going to be a cool little boat as it stands. I got to walk my ass all the way out there and go hunting today and figure out something else for tomorrow, which will be take this, but go out that way and around. So. Let's see how the night works. Because you can see the sun's getting down. I don't have time to mess around here.